deep within, my heart prophesies against the wicked, sin, and transgression, saying, Never mind reverence and awe. The wicked do not even have a dread of God. For their eyes do not see what is before them. For his tongue deals smoothly with himself. It creates an image that is good in his own eyes. He is blinded and not able to detect the guilt of his iniquity. He is not able to hate it. The words coming out of his mouth are full of nothingness and sorrow, full of fraud and deceit. He has ceased having insight and from acting prudently. He has ceased from speaking well and from doing what is right. He plans injustice and trouble while lying upon his bed. He takes his stand upon a path that is not good, evil. He does not refuse. My Lord, your graciousness is so vast. It extends to the heavens. Your faithfulness to the clouds above. Your justness and loyalty are like the mightiest of mountains. Your decisions and judgments are like the deepest of the seas. My Lord, it is you who saves both man and beast from danger. My God, your graciousness is very valuable and dearly precious. Indeed, your people take refuge in this. This is your protection. This is the shadow of your wings. They will be filled and refreshed from the abundance of your house, and you will give them drink from the strong and deep river that is your bliss. For with you, my Lord, is the source, the fountain of all life and living. For it is with your light that we see light. It is in you that we know what living truly means. Stretch out your graciousness over those who know you and your justness and loyalty over those who are upright in heart. Do not let the foot of the arrogant tread me down, and do not let the hand of the wicked make me homeless. There they are, those who practice deception and injustice. They have fallen prostrate. They have been thrust down and overthrown. And they are not able to rise up again.